Hello, YouTube Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic Prison. Now, first off, I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on this series. You guys have been amazing. And I want to go ahead and say that we're probably going to have maybe, I would say probably about two more episodes of this, and then I think the prison will be done. Now, hopefully you enjoyed that little intro. I don't think it was too scary. It's just kind of a cool little thing I put together. So today, we have the condemned wing of the prison we're going to go over. And I've built the much requested cafeteria. And also, the last announcement I want to make, right behind us here, you see CSFP. That is Komodo State Federal Penitentiary. That's the name that won the voting. So I want to thank everybody that voted on that. But remember, folks, if you are enjoying Scrap Mechanic Prison, leave this video a thumbs up. It helps out my channel. And let's go check out the new areas. Alright, so we're going to enter the prison here. Now, if you missed any of the previous episodes in the top right corner, I'll have the playlist up. Uh, if you want to see some of the other areas that we're not going to go over here today, like this holding area or the other cell blocks. So, to get to the condemned part of the prison, we're going to go out here. There's a solitary confinement there, and it's over in this new area. Now, I've got some ideas for this new area, but comment below with suggestions. I'm thinking of... Maybe some sort of riot response team. A lot of you guys have been requesting like a helipad or something. So we might put that in this area here. But anyways, let's go ahead and walk over here. Now this is the condemned part of the prison. We're going to go ahead and say that there used to be a very old section of prison. Maybe it was the prison that was here before. And they tried to take down quite a bit of it. But there was one cell block that nobody would touch anymore. So they just fenced it off. And obviously for good reason. So you have this gate up here. It says do not enter. But we're going to go ahead and ignore that. And click this button over here. And yeah, this actually came out pretty cool. You have this uh, secondary fence here. Uh, I like the way this looks. Now I did kind of use the same template uh, for the other cell blocks. You can see this is cell block A. But this is the original prison cell block. So that's why it's got the A up there. So yeah, it's pretty old. Pretty torn apart. And it might be just a little bit haunted. So, we're going to kind of look around it real quick. Uh, you can see a, one of the old towers that used to be here. Everything's just completely falling apart. I actually love doing stuff like this in Scrap Mechanic. If you ever watched any of my Apocalypse uh, series episodes, uh, I always used to love to like make something and then destroy it. Make it look like it's been torn apart. So this was actually a joy to do. Alright, so we're going to enter in the front here. Let's go and hit this button. And let's go ahead and take a peek in. Yeah, this thing is pretty worn out. So, we're going to go over the little details here. Because that's really what this build was all about. As you can see, there is no power in here. A lot of the cells are actually somewhat open if they still have a door. Everything's pretty well torn up. And the reason this is condemned, there might have been an escape that happened here and we'll go into the cell block and I'll show you guys what that looks like and we'll show you the route that they took to get out of the prison because I kind of thought of everything when it came to this abandoned cell block so anyways you can see this thing's pretty well torn apart I've got little details let me go and pull out my connection tool here like the uh, the catwalk there it's kind of hanging down uh, some of the water pipes they're they're on like free bearings and everything's just kind of hanging off uh, even the holes in the ceiling, you can see where the pipes would go across. Some of that's hanging off, just kind of drooping down. Pretty cool. Originally, I did have the ceiling on a free bearing, and I had half of it collapsed in, but it caused a tremendous amount of lag. So, yeah, we didn't do that anymore. But, anyways, you can see there's a lot of debris in here. Actually, one of the cells completely collapsed in to the other cell. You got the toilet set in there. So you've got that. A lot of the cells are pretty well torn up. You gotta have to. Oh, well, we have to hop up these stairs. It's missing a couple steps here. So we'll walk up here. Now this is the cell that's in question that the escape happened. We'll go out that here in a second. But down here, if you notice from the intro, the last cell here might be a bit haunted. So uh, this was actually really easy to achieve uh, when you saw the like the light turn on and the cell or the cell door slowly open. Uh, what I have, there's a sensor right there. So when you pass by it, it activates the light and slowly creaks open that uh, door there. And this cell is untouched. 
The ghosts have been keeping this one up pretty well, so it's in nice shape. So you can come in here. But yeah, you can see uh, it's in good shape. You can see around it, the floors, a lot of this is just gone. Uh, a lot of the lights are gone. This is the only one that I actually wanted to keep the lights on because I thought it, it would create a cool effect. Now you're seeing a, a high beam come out of the cell, and that's not from these lights. I have two of the uh, floodlights packed in the wall there, and they're aimed out, so when you hit it, it shines the light outward. So uh, I thought that was a little bit of a cool effect. So anyways, I'm going to let you look at me there. That's uh, pretty cool the way this whole thing looks. So there might have been a uh, escape attempt, and I actually think it was successful. You can see the big hole in the wall here. And we come back, and you see we're back where the plumbing is. So somebody broke out of the prison here. We're going to walk down the pipe. There we go. Hop over this. And they might have cut a way out here this on the side. So you can kind of just walk out of that. And you're on the outside of the cell block. So, yeah, I thought this was going to be a, a neat little touch. I wasn't 100% sure if I was going to do it. A lot of people requested it. Uh, some people said, well, it's not going to be, like, necessarily realistic. But this is scrap mechanic. We can use our imaginations and just kind of do something wild. So that's kind of where all this came from. But I'm actually really happy with this area. Uh, we will go ahead and close it down. Now, if you noticed, I don't have a back wall in the prison anymore. That's because the areas are starting to expand out. I will eventually put that back wall back up as soon as I figure out where the actual end of the prison is. So, that's that. The next area, this is something, and a lot of people were making jokes about this, about having a cafeteria area. A lot of people are like, hey, your prisoners are starving. You've had two episodes so far, and they haven't eaten yet. So, we fixed that. Now, to get to the, uh, let's go ahead and close this. To get to the cafeteria, now, I warn you, the wall behind it's not complete because I'm still adding on to the back of it. But to get to it, you're going to walk from your cell block across the yard, and there's a little opening over here, and this is going to lead into the cafeteria, which I actually think the cafeteria came out really good. So we're going to walk into here. Now, the outside of the cafeteria, nothing much to it. It's just really a big rectangle. So you can walk into here. So say when the uh, prisoners are ready to have chow, we'll go ahead and open these doors up here and walk you into the cafeteria. Now, there is a uh, metal detectors here, you know, just for security reasons. Uh, at first, I was going to build this quite a bit bigger, but then I realized it was going to be a big, pretty empty building. So I kind of made a smaller cafeteria, considering we only have two cell blocks. I think this is the appropriate size. So you see all the tables set up. This is kind of the dining area. I actually like the way the inside of this uh, looks with the color scheme and all the pillars. And you've got the cross beams up on the ceiling. I think that came out pretty good. So... When you're ready to have some chow, you're going to come over here. This is the yellow line that represents where the line should be. So you'd walk around. Uh, there'd be some trays here. You'd grab you a cup for some juice or whatever. They, maybe they give them just water. I'm not really sure what they serve them in prisons. I know you're not getting a Coke or anything. So you get that. You walk up here. Here's the serving line. Uh, I don't think there's really many options. You just pretty much get whatever they have. So you'd walk down here, slide your tray down. And you're ready to go. You're ready to go sit down at one of our uh, nice metal tables. All the comfort. So yeah, you come out here. Now behind here, this is the uh, kitchen area. So a lot of you guys were like, we need places for the prisoners to work. Which we probably need like a factory or something. But some prisoners can work here in the kitchen. Uh, over here, this is like a tray return. So let's go ahead and open this up. And here's the kitchen. Now you notice there's cameras everywhere. I'm pretty sure there's quite a bit of security in a prison kitchen because they are dealing with possible weapons and all that. So we got a security camera up there. So yeah, here's the kitchen. There's the uh, the tray return. We've got some tables back here to work on. A little bit of clutter here with the boxes. You've got like a dishwashing station right here. You can put the clean dishes over in this little rack. Uh, here's the serving table. We can go and hit the uh, heat lamps here. And you've got all the little knobs here to turn everything on. Got a big oven. Now, I don't really know what they cook people in prisons. I didn't really look up prison food. I'm pretty sure it's not that great. So this might be a little bit too fancy for it. I'm not sure. So yeah, you've got like a uh, four-door oven up here. You've got a little grill over here as a vena hood. And back here is the freezer where they store all the cold goods. So we can pop that open real quick. And guess what? There's even a camera in here. 
Uh, you got the camera in the freezer. You got all the storage, the shelves. I've got the little air conditioning units that are keeping the uh, freezer cool, or the freezing units, I guess I should say. So yeah, that's all of that. We're gonna walk out here, give you guys one final look at the kitchen here. So yeah, definitely happy with this. Now, I think, like I said, we're gonna move on to some sort of riot response, maybe a helipad, stuff like that. But if you guys have any suggestions for the prison, uh, I've seen quite a few. You guys have been absolutely great about suggesting uh, different areas that you want to see. Uh, like I said, we'll probably have about two more episodes of this prison, I think. Uh, I don't think we'll move to a third because eventually this is going to get too big and I don't want it to be uh, come really laggy. That way nobody can actually play with the prison. So yeah, we'll do that. I'll have a download to this prison in the description. I do apologize about having the wrong download in the last episode, but I will have the right download in this episode. It, it will include all of the objects you see here today. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Scrap Mechanic Prison. We will return with more of this. I believe we're going to do one more episode of this this weekend. I'm going to be pretty busy this weekend. We've got a busy weekend at work. So I'm going to at least try to get one more of these prison episodes out uh, to you guys. But anyways, if you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time on Scrap Mechanic Prison. Thank you.